Hello, welcome to North Carolina. I'm Arian, founder and owner of Dressing Rooms Interior Studio. Come on in. So the first space off of our uh, entryway is our dining room, which I have turned into my home office. This room has changed a lot. And the first thing I like to do when I'm designing a space is start with the wall color. Now I know a lot of people don't like that, don't do it that way, but that's what I do. And this color on our wall here is uh, Sharon Williams Fan Bros. Really love it, it's a rich, deep color, and I love how it changes in the day and the night. It's really inviting. The second thing I picked for this space is this banquette from Ballard Design. And this was not the original fabric that I had in mind. But when I saw it against this Fambrose color, I knew I had to have it. The next piece that came into the room was this table and chair set from my grandmother that I was able to save from being thrown away. And I covered it in this um, multicolor fabric that I happened to find, happened to have already on hand. To make it not feel so much like an office, I brought in this buffet piece from Bernhardt and I use it to hide all my things. So when I'm not here working, I can tuck everything in here and it feels clean and seamless. Okay, so now you're gonna come with me to our family room. It's a two-story room, which can be a challenge to some homeowners. And the first thing I did here was pick my paint color. Um, and I went with this smoke color by Glidden and it is a color that I knew was going to be throughout the home, so I knew I needed to love it. Then we grounded the space with this antelope rug um, from Sura, and it picks up all of the tones in the room, all of the animal prints, and so as you look throughout the home, you'll see animal motifs everywhere. So I love the graphic uh, detail of these vases, of these ceramic vases. We actually carry those in the shop. Through the home, you'll also notice round elements in the space. So the first one you'll notice here is the coffee table. And this is a Bernhardt table. Love this table. It picks up all the brass elements in the space. And it also provides me a great surface top so that I can style all of my accessories. Then we'll move into our dining space. Our dining room gets a lot of use. So one of the first things I selected in this space was the rug. Again, this one is from Sura and it's really graphic. It picks up the, the blacks and the whites and it also has a little hint of orange and the blues in the space. Then I paired it with another round element, which is this dining table from Carol Cole, which I love and I love all of the Art Deco details. And those same Art Deco details are picked up here in this hexagon pendant from Corbel Lighting. And then I paired it with these chairs from Universal Furniture. They're also round back. They're really comfortable. They're great for sitting, for long dinners, for games, for all of that. Then we'll move over here to our mask wall. And so these masks have come from a collector that I purchased, um, I purchased from him. And he had traveled all over the continent of Africa. And on the back of each mask is actually the year and the country where they got it from. And I paired that here with this a uh, chest from Bernhardt. It is raffia. It has tons of storage, which again, I told you we needed storage. So this is where we hide our mail, our gloves, all of that stuff gets hidden here. I love the reflective detail of the top in the mirror because it reflects the mass and the blue color, so it almost looks like it's blue. Now we're moving to the kitchen where all the magic happens. And we picked up those round elements with these bar stools from Ballard design. So they also have the brass details and they're in this leather, this gray leather, which picks up some of the black details in the cabinets. So we use this runner from Laloy to pick up all of the black and white elements that are in the space. And the cherry on top of the space is this pendant light by Corbett Lighting. It really pops against the graphic detail of this room and shape. Now let's check out our powder room. Now this is a jewel box. And this color, Salsa by Benjamin Moore, 
perfect color for a small space, even though you wouldn't think so. Um, and I used it uh, in this room and I, and I added art on top of it, vintage art that I've been collecting and wanted it to feel like a little oasis when you came in for you to have that, oh my gosh, when you walked in, surprise. And then I paired it with um, some natural elements. And it's one of our favorite rooms in the house. Now we're gonna head over to the primary bedroom. Come on. So welcome to our primary bedroom. So the first thing I did, and you guessed it, paint color. And this color is a custom mix from Sharon Williams. I love blue and I wanted to use something that was dark and rich, that wasn't a navy, um, in the space. And I paired it with red because red, white, and blue always looks good together. And the first um, piece I picked was this velvet vintage um, camelback sofa. And then the anchor is the headboard. And so I used those as the elements to, to start the space. You'll see Asian uh, influences. You'll see African in the art. So there's a mix in here that's seen throughout our home, which we were really consistent in doing. And now we go to the last space, our lounge. So this space was originally my home office, but as my business grew, I needed more space. So I moved that office downstairs to the dining room. Now this space is a lounge, and it's a great space for guests to come and hang out, to read, to watch a little TV, and they will be sitting here in my childhood sectional. So this came from my uh, childhood home. It's the perfect fit for this space, and I wanted it to be cozy and moody in here, so I painted the walls uh, Sharon William tricorn black, and then I adorned it with vintage pieces that I found. I have a mud cloth here, so again, I'm picking up those um, African vibes here. Um, I have vintage statues, which you'll see statues throughout my home, and lighting, custom lighting. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you for coming. See you later.